Ah, welcome to the note taking shop. You want the notes? We got the goods. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm Davido, a doctor and a YouTuber. I'm just looking for some note taking software that's um, aesthetic. Aesthetic? All right, aesthetic. I've got the thing for you. Check this out. Microsoft Word. It's blue. Uh, not um, exactly. I'm just looking for something where I can like, um, you know, put in pictures where I really want to and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Well, in that case, um, how about this Notion? Notion, Notion, Notion. Ah, uh, look. Notion's not bad. Um, um what is it? <sighs> okay. Um, do you have something where I can put an anime? Huh? Anime? Like... Notice me, senpai? It, it, yeah, um, yeah. Ha <sighs> ha ah, ha. Ah, ah. You must be the chosen one. I was told that someone like you would come one day. It was in the note taking prophecies uh, that I got from my father, and then his father passed on from his father, and then his father's father passed it on to him. So that's you, huh? You want anime. All right, well, I've got something special for you. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Here you go. Good luck. This is my Notion page. This is where I store my thoughts, my ideas, my stories, and the things that I learn. And I, as you can tell, there's a bit of a theme to it, but I just wanted to make it something that was deeply personal to me, because I think that when you design something and create something visually very, very pleasing, um, there's something about that sense of ownership that makes it more meaningful to you. In this particular page, you can see that I've divided it into four columns, and I'll teach you how to do that in a second. Um, and the four columns are related to life and knowledge, the things that I'm learning in general practice and with health, and the things that I'm doing for YouTube and my finances and uh, secret courses, but let's not talk about that for a moment. <laughs> um, and this is, page is actually very, very easy to make, but you can make it in, let's say, maybe half an hour or so. I also have a lot of inline calendars in Zettelkastens, but let's talk about that in a little bit, because I want to talk about the pictures first. Now, the pictures I've included here, um, some of them are GIFs, they're very, very easy to include, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but I put little captions there just to give some sort of thematic element to the columns that are here. And right on the right hand side here, this is actually a little table of contents. So for example, if I can't find something, I can actually just click on that and it can highlight it. Uh, or I can, you know, click on this bit, for example. And if I added more and more here, which I definitely could, then that could be very, very useful. So um, the inline calendars and Zettelkastens, I'll talk about Zettelkastens a bit more uh, in a future video, but fundamentally I have things like, for example, a calendar, which is a database of video ideas that I've got. Um, please don't steal my ideas, <laughs> but you know, if you do, steal them before this date because that's when I'm planning to make it. And um, with these ideas, I sort of, this is actually what's called a linked database. So this goes to a whole table, uh, you know, full of ideas by itself. And um, you can actually include these different databases in line. So in other words, you can include it as part of this page. So you don't even have to go to the individual page there. Um, I keep, uh, you know, a Zettelkasten of ideas. Um, and that's sort of a summary of the things that I learn on the way. I also keep a clinical Zettelkasten, which is for medical information where I want to, for example, look up um, some some piece of information and be able to really rarely access that. So for example, if I wanted to look up um, 
calcium sporing as for coronary artery, artery disease, I could certainly do that very, very quickly. And so this is a page where I can not only you know, be very pleased that I have these anime chips always going. And you can see there's a very um, strong Ghibli theme to, to all of this. It's something where I can very quickly look up information and access any piece of information that I have. Down here, I've got a lot of cute bears uh, <laughs> of milk and mocha, um, if you're interested. And it's just because these bears are uh, very meaningful to me for a particular reason. With regards to how to make this page yourself, very, very easy. So let's just go ahead. We'll make a we'll make a new page here, and I'm just going to press the plus button on private. So we start off with a blank page. We can add any color that we like, um, and we can add any icon that we like. So I'm just going to use these default icons uh, to start off with, and let's you know you can call it life Waikai, you can call it whatever you want. So um, you'll notice that on the other page, I had a four column layout. The way that you achieve that is you actually just drag the columns side by side. So for example, I'm going to type slash image here and I'm going to, um, because I want moving images, I'm going to actually go to Saf uh, Safari or browser of choice or whatever. And I've actually got jiffy.com loaded with um, a search for Ghibli stuff because obviously Ghibli, Ghibli is very very good so um, and very aesthetic so if you go to any individual GIF click on the media button and then click on the source button you'll copy the source URL to the clipboard and then you can actually so if you type again slash image and then it brings up this little block here click on the embed link button paste that in uh, that that image link that you've got before and embed it there and then voila you've got a moving gif inside your thing but of course having one moving gif i mean you could just keep one column if you wanted to keep it neater of course but i like the idea of having multiple uh things at once let me just check this is going yep cool um so for example what i'll do is i'm going to put this as full width um and then i'm going to grab some more gifs uh, from or GIFs, whatever you want to call it from Ghibli. Let's say I want this one. So to make a second column, um, I'm just going to take the link from here and I'm also going to go below that, type in slash image again, and then choose another image. So which is that, uh, that link that we had before. And what you can then do is now you've got this there. So you actually just drag it to the side. So drag it to the right hand side of that image and then that's how you make your second column and you can resize the images as you like um, but I'm just going to go for this two column layout to start off with. Now if you type, um, let me just even that out a little bit and you can actually yeah, adjust these, um, you can adjust the dividers as well generally so okay so I'm just going to maybe include one more uh, there so let's go that and then again, type slash image, embed a link, and then paste that there. And then you have another third one. So you just drag that to the right-hand side or whatever, and voila, you've got your individual columns there. Um, you can resize them as you like, but each of these columns is now a separate thing. Now, I've chosen to caption my different things with whatever, so for example, like, life is meaningful, or, um, uh, I don't know, like, I like hamburgers, <laughs> whatever's meaningful to you. <laughs> um, and so you can create a new heading by typing this slash, and then if you press one, it comes with a new heading. So, you know, the heading one, or if you go to heading two, that's like a slightly smaller one. But anyway, I'm just gonna type heading one, and uh, you can put whatever you want here. So for example, um, logistics, <laughs> if that's meaningful to you. Uh, and then here you might put finances and do the same thing. And then here you might put, um, I don't know what's important to you uh, among us stretchy <laughs> or something um, and then you can put in your individual uh, links to stuff here now um, something that's really cool about notion is that you can actually put the you can link to other pages and so that's probably one of the best things about notion um, you know if you wanted to you could actually house everything inside this sort of life wiki and for example type slash page 
and then you know make a sub page so for example this would be like my awesome sub page um, and then you can put you know whatever text you want in there and then that becomes available as its own little page here um, so that's kind of cool if you wanted to do that. You can also even put in, um, let's say, like a table or something like that. So let's say you wanted to create a new table of some kind. Uh, maybe it's for, um, I don't know, foods I like. <laughs> and then you can put in um, whatever you like there um, into this little table. And then this table itself has different views. Um, so beef, noodles, I think there's a bit of a thematic element isn't there, um, and I don't know, carrots. <coughs> so, um, and then that table comes up uh, here as a page, um, but if you wanted to make it an inline page, what you can do is you can actually type slash and type database, you have to actually scroll down to the bottom and you type linked database. So then it comes up with a whole bunch of random stuff. Um, but to select your database, you actually just start typing the database. So that one, uh, we called it Foods I Like. So I'm going to just type that there, Foods I, and you can see it's come there. So this is how you make an inline thing. And when I say inline, I mean this in, in the same page as the, for example, the Life Wiki. Um, if you want to, you can see that it's confined to this left column. So all you have to do is simply drag it to the bottom there. And now it's got that full width thing. And you can use this just like any other table. Um, so if you wanted to create a table of contents like I did before, um, I'm just going to just type table of contents as a heading. And then you simply type slash contents. And then that brings up a table of contents thing. So you can see that the reason for including things as headings specifically is it actually takes those different headings and puts them automatically in the table of contents. So if you were to, for example, type uh, heading number two, which is a medium size heading, um, let's say that, uh, I don't know, restaurant budget, <laughs> then you can see that it comes as a little sub uh, thing in the table of contents as well. So that's quite useful. Now. Obviously, if your page isn't going to be that huge, you don't necessarily need something like this, but that's something that could be useful for you if you're um, wanting subheadings and stuff uh, and also have a big page. So yeah, that's a very simple tutorial for um, how to make a hyper aesthetic notion. You can do anything with it. Um, I've seen people use pastel colors and stuff for their different um, for their different headings. Uh, I think there is a way to do it, although I haven't figured that out yet, but there is a way for sure. Um, and yeah, you know, obviously you can see that there's an infinite amount of flexibility, or well, not infinite, but like there's a lot of flexibility that you can have when making your own hyper aesthetic notion page. So I hope you did find this interesting. Um, you can feel free to subscribe if it, this is the sort of stuff that you like. Uh, I'll be posting lots of Notion videos, um, as you can probably see from my video ideas column before. Um, we're going to aim to post a Notion video roughly about weekly or so, and I'll be making some sort of uh, a course or something that goes into you know templates and that sort of thing. So if you're interested in wanting to use Notion as a system, uh, notion for creators or notion for medical students or notion for uh, business owners then um, that course will eventually be in the link below but otherwise I hope you found this video cool and it was fun to make although I am um, <laughs> a pretty bad actor <laughs> so uh, yeah anyway um, you take care I'll see you in the next video